this is Melody with Realty Executives Main Street and I am so blessed. Oh my goodness, I'm so blessed when you guys call and you text me and you want to meet up. Oh my goodness, my heart has been so blessed recently. I've gotten to meet a few of you face to face for the first time, share a meal with you or just sit and talk and and uh, drink some water and, and tea and life has been great. So thank you for blessing me. But a lot of times when I first talk with you and I'll say, okay, what area are you interested in? What area are you interested in looking for a home? And I would say 85% will say, well, I don't wanna live anywhere near Knoxville because it's just way too congested. Oh, sweet friends, please stay tuned. I wanna talk about this a little. Bit. So what a lot of you don't know is I live in Knoxville. I do, yes, my brokerage is in Sweetwater. Yes, that's true. I am from Athens, that's true. So if you watch my videos for any amount of time, you know that I keep I-75 and parts of I-40 pretty hot because I'm always traveling on it, okay? But I live in Knoxville. My kids went or are continuing to go to Knox County Schools. I taught in Knox County Schools for years. So Knoxville has this reputation, for lack of a better term, that, oh my goodness, it is so congested. And I'm not going to lie, there are parts of Knoxville that I would rather pull my hair out than go through, uh, especially at certain parts of the day. But what I need you to realize is Knoxville is very spread out. If you look here on the map, you're going to see that it literally, it takes me 45 minutes to drive from one side to the other. And I'm talking east to west, far east to far west, at least 45 minutes and at least 45 minutes to, dr to drive from true north to true south of Knoxville. So I think the reason a lot of people think, oh, I don't wanna live anywhere no near Knoxville, is they just don't know enough about Knoxville. So yes, my address is Knoxville. I do not live in the city limits. I do have public water. I do have public electricity. I have public sewer. I don't live in the city limits, but I live in Knoxville, okay? So you can live in Knoxville without being in the city limits. You can live in the city limits, that's cool too, but you don't have to. The other thing that's important uh, that you know about Knoxville is there's these little communities that are um, in Knox County, but they have their own post office and they have some other little in, 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 in trinkets. They have their own little special areas as well. One of them is Farragut, okay? So Farragut, Tennessee is actually part of Knox County. It's inside Knox County. It's part of Knox County Schools. Both of my children attended Knox County Schools um, in the Farragut system, and it's a great area. It's considered West Knoxville, even though geographically it's more south, but we call it West Knoxville. Farragut has their own government. Farragut has um, a city government. They have um, their own post office, but they're still part of Knox County. Another community you want to think about is Powell. Now, that is spelled P-O-W-E-L-L. -L. It looks like Powell, but here we say Powell like P-A-L. Yes, that's how we say it. And Powell is considered what I would say more of Northwest Knoxville. And again, it's an area, has a different zip code, but it's inside of Knox County. It's still part of Knox County Schools. We call that Powell. It has a different zip code, just like Farragut has a different zip code. Another little community that you will find, again, within Knox County is Hall's Crossroads. Now, it's important that you put Crossroads there because there is a Hall's Tennessee. Hall's Crossroads is another area. It is more in uh, what we call North Knoxville. Again, it has its own zip code. It has its own 
um, post office, but it is part of Knox County. Now there's some other communities that don't necessarily have their own zip code. There's Carnes, uh, which I'm blessed. I have a little free library at the middle school in Carnes, love Carnes area. There's also um, Coryton. Oh, Coryton is great, especially in the fall. You want to go there and tour uh, the corn maze there at Oaks Farm. Oh, you will not regret it. Great area, very rural, um, close to Halls Crossroads, but kind of away from everything. So you get the rural feel, but you're just a short drive to modern conveniences. That is Coryton. There is also the Cedar Bluff area. Cedar Bluff is kind of in between what we call um, the Farragut area and West Hills. You'll see uh, a Cedar Bluff exit, a couple of them actually, if you're driving down I-40. Again, part of Knox County, still part of Knox County Schools, but does not have its own um, zip code. Then we get into West Hills area, which is where our mall is located. Um, it's a little bit older part of um, Knox County. Then we move into the Bearden area and we're just literally going through these little communities right up I-75 into I-40 as we're going. And then if we're talking about North and South Knox County, there's tons of communities there as well. And so I just want you to keep an open mind. Don't rule Knoxville out because again, I think where the miscommunication is everybody's thinking of Knoxville as, oh, congested traffic, but there's some very beautiful rural parts. I'm actually in Knoxville right now. You probably wouldn't know it, but I am. I'm, in, I'm not in my backyard, but I am in Knoxville. And so there are lots of areas in Knox County that's not near the interstate, not near the congestion of the traffic, but still very beautiful places to live. If you have more questions about Knoxville or anything in regards to the East Tennessee housing market, I would love to be that source of information for you. So please like this video, subscribe to it, leave me comments, share it with others. Help me to get the word out. Until next time.